Did you ever wonder how big your herb is? Did you ever wonder how big your neighbor's herb is? Hi, I'm Jim, W6LG. Well, that's a surprise. <laughs> I'm surprised. So, uh, I'm surprised by the amount. It's crap. In it. I want to be understood. I'm a communicator, not a broadcaster. Greetings. I'm Jim W6LG, as you can tell by the call sign growing out of the back of my head. Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. One item that is almost never discussed about a station is its ERP, which is computed in watts. It, it, that is the effective radiated power. What is the effective radiated power of your station, for example? And you can calculate it. Uh, it's there are some online calculators there are some calculators that you can add to your cell phone that will uh, give you a ballpark figure we're not looking to nail it down to the watt but we're just trying to generalize this to um, what is the effective radiated power of uh, one station compared to another so I'm going to have um, one station be 100 watts to a dipole the next station will be 1500 watts to a six element Yagi yeah a big Yagi on the top of a hill and what is the difference in ERP? And I think you'll find the uh, the answer interesting. Calculation is really pretty simple. I'm just going to punch numbers into my cell phone. I'll do that with the video camera, and then we'll come up with the answer at the end. So let's go do that now, and then come back. Okay, let's um, let's do station number one. It's got a hundred watts forward and a reflective power, let's say 15 watts. So that gives us an SWR of 2.26 or transmission line loss just above that of 0.7. Let's select, select the cable um, on this list. RG8X is listed as RG8 Mini. That's a pretty, pretty popular coax, so let's use that RG8 Mini and I'll dial that up. And there we go. And um, Let's say the frequency is going to be 20 meters, so 14 megahertz. And let's say the length is 100 feet. And in this case, they want it in inches for some reason. So let's do 1,200 inches. Save that. So the cable losses are about 1.4 dB at 14 megahertz. Now let's say the transmission, the uh, antenna gain is zero. So we're going to enter zero for gain. Uh, transmitted power. 100 watts. Total line loss is about 2.1 dB. So let's enter 2.1, which um, gives us an ERP of 61.66 watts, or roughly 60 watts ERP. Let's go to station number two. Um, the, let's say this guy's running forward power of uh, 1500 watts, so he's running legal limit. And let's say his reflected power is, uh, let's say, 50 watts. Gives us an SWR of 1.45, transmission line loss of about 0 0.1, 0 0.15. Okay, let's select on the cable. I'm just going to pick one off this list. Doesn't matter um, exactly which one. I'm trying to find the one with the lowest loss. So. I'm just going to pick one I think is pretty low loss. And for a length um, of, let's see, frequency first, 14 megahertz again, 20 meters. And we're going to use a, uh, a length of, um, let's say, 1500 inches. We'll save that. So about 0 0.09 cable loss, so less than a tenth of a dB. So let's say his antenna gain is uh, 10 dB plus, let's say he's got on sloping ground, so he's got 3 dB of ground reflection. So let's give this a total gain of 13 dB, which is a lot, but some guys have that. Transmitted power, 1500 watts. Total line losses uh, combined uh, ballpark about uh, 
2.2 dB, 2.4, 0.24 rather. So his ERP is 28.3 kW. So the ERP of the 100 watt station was about 60 watts. The ERP of the DX station with the huge Yagi hilltop location was 28, almost 29,000 watts. So what's the difference between those two in terms of signal strength um, to a DX station? Well, about 30 dB, which is huge. What does that, what does that mean? It means that you, if, you're, um, if he's S9 to a station, let's say in India, uh, you're going to be about 30 dB down from that. So that's about 5S units. So you might be S4 and he's S9. Um, understanding that that leaves you some room to improve your station. Maybe it's time to swap out that old coax, put in some low loss coax, uh, maybe add a small amplifier uh, that can give you, um, let's say, 6 dB gain. Or maybe it's time to swap out the dipole for a 3 element Yagi that has 6 dB gain. So there's lots of ways to, uh, to improve your station. And one way to see how it stacks up is to do this ERP calculation. Does it mean that um, you can't work the X? Not at all. But <clears throat> one thing it probably does mean is you want to um, not necessarily get involved in, in pileups, but if you hear a bunch of guys calling a DX station, let's say that's in, um, in Scotland, Maybe you want to tune the band to see what else or who else is on the air from the United Kingdom and find that guy calling CQ. If you're the first one to answer him, even though you're S4, S5, that DX station is likely to answer you and work you. So um, it's an opportunity to search up and down the band. And that's what I do. I'm tuning up and down the band most time that uh, I'm, I'm looking for DX or that I think there's a band opening due to the gray line. In any case, ERP, if, um, let's say that, um, let's do a more realistic uh, comparison. Let's say your neighbor has um, a three element Yagi and he's got six dB gain there and uh, a little bit of coax loss. Uh, let's say he's running 1500 watts. <clears throat> he might have an ERP of 6,000 watts. You might have an ERP of 60 watts. So there's about 100 times difference. So that's 20 dB. So you might be S9 and he's 20 over. Um, he might be S9 and you would be S5.5 or something. So it gives you a, a feel for what's going on here. Why is, why is that guy so much stronger than I am? And what can I do to improve my station's performance? And SWR, coax cable, coax cable length, coax cable losses, antenna gain, uh, the location of the antenna, height above ground, whether or not it's sloping ground, all those things add up to um, changing the ERP of your station. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Um, I'm still working on the, uh, the dipole center, center insulator uh, project. I haven't finished that video yet and I've got some others coming with a little bit more nuts and bolts. Anyway, thanks for watching 73. I'm Jim W6LG for Hammer Deal Basics.